Vista for most the Manila Cathedral. We visit this place not only for the purpose of documenting its architectural design, but this was a perfect place to offer a prayer before we wander around. The solemn atmosphere was appropriate to ask for guidance as our personal meditation. And so then, back to our focus. Here are the doors carved with a biblical presence such as Jesus, Jacob's apostles, and the church. The glass windows portraying the scenes that are written in the Bible. Of course, here are the scenes and the pillars firm foundation of the church. And of course, what is the highlight? No other than the altars and images, which are the ways to declare our devotion and faith. And here we can find the images of the holy persons, for instance, Virgin Mary. Here we can find the Holy Oil, a sacramental object. And then, the baptism of Jesus Christ by John. And of course, the crucifixion. And who will forget the famous work of Michelangelo, La Pieta? Now let's start our trip along Intramuros. Look at this amazing architectural design of Palacio del Gobernador. La Castellana, a place you wish to have your debut or wedding. Observe the design. Villa Immaculada, the famous catering services. Palacio Grande. And oh, this old village. Where you can see the White Knight Hotel in Tramos and Barbara's Catering. The oldest church, San Agustin Church. Now, let's go along these footsteps. In the barracks, built by Filipinos, led by, of course, Spaniards. See the shadows of the war with these arms and weapons? Tunnels. Then, who will refuse to see the beauty of the view of the golf course? But the San Diego Gardens. Where this room look at us? Oh, come on. I love this one. Familiar now? Good word. Go set aside. 
Welcome to Fort Santiago. Taking some pictures. Look at these cold footsteps. Join us and enter this place. Rizal Shrine is found inside the Port Santiago, where we can see many portraits paintings of Rizal, of course. Sculptures. as well as his fencing suit. KKK flag and more other stuffs. This was the place for the margins. So, we take opportunities like this and this. And don't forget your souvenirs and the childish act to play as kids. Baybayin is the ancient and traditional scripts of the Philippines. There are lots of documents found written in Baybayin. It can also be found in Kalatagan Path carved along its neck. The Laguna Copper Plate was famous with its inscriptions. Native Filipinos used by buying as part of their tribe tattoos. Ultimo Adios, my last farewell, written by Dr. Rosarizal before his execution in Manila at the year of 1896. A hundred peso bill with its Filipino script on the lower side. Weaving machine used by our Asian people and ethnic groups here in the Philippines. These are the examples of Maranao native clothes. These are the different kinds of jars and batteries made by concrete materials used by Asian people here in the Philippines. Jars and batteries can also be used in burial. Like the Manunggul jar.
These features represent the salakot and baskets. which made in Rattan and Kawayan. These are the different kinds of musical instruments used by the Asian tribes. These are the gongs, cymbals, xylophones, and drums, which is very important in their rituals. These features represent the weapons that being used by the great man of their tribe. I also have here the Sari Manok and other pagans used by the Asian tribes and ethnic groups. Also, these are the other artworks they made. And lastly, these are the different accessories that symbolize their status in the community. Next destination, the art capital of the Philippines, no other than Angon Rizal. Wow, look at that!